Now, which is a better buy? Three fourths of a pound bag of nuts for five dollars ninety-five, or a half a pound bag of nuts for three dollars eighty-nine. There are several ways to solve this. Once again, one approach would be that we would find the per pound price, the unit price for each bag. Maybe we would try to find. This is my first approach. Find the unit price. Price per pound. Okay. If they said that four pounds was costing so much, then you would do what to find the unit price? If it said that four pounds of nuts would cost that much, then you would take this number divided by four, right? This here being a fraction doesn't change the procedure. You will still divide this by three fourths to get the unit price. You would have five dollars ninety-five. Divided by three fourths. Here we have our complex fraction again, and then this one here. How would you find the unit price or the price per one pound? You could again take this number divided by half, but of course it's easier to just multiply that by two, right? Okay. So the other one we would get this two times three dollars eighty-nine. Now this one here. Being a complex fraction is not any more complex than what was here. It is a division by a fraction, so it changes into a multiplication by four thirds. So the actual calculation is this number times four thirds. Okay. How I want to show you another approach to solving this problem, and that is where we will not find the price per one pound. We'll find the price per one fourth of a pound. Find the price for one fourth of a pound because this here you can divide by two to get the price for one fourth of a pound, and this here you can divide by three. So let's do that. Maybe that is quicker. I think it is easier to think about anyway. This price divided by three will give me the price for one fourth of a pound. Three goes into five once. And then the other one, three point eight nine divided by two. Two goes to three once. Then we get eighteen, so nine. And then nine, it goes four times. There's a remainder of one, but I'll continue it just for one more digit. I add one more decimal zero here and get ten here then, and five here. So then it's even, okay? But of course, we can now see easily that this is the cheaper price. This one is cheaper per one fourth of a pound, but of course, it means it is also cheaper per pound. This is the better buy. Okay, we're all done, and I hope this was helpful.